We are in the barn with first time mama Hope. Hope just had a beautiful little girl. And as you can see, Hope is scared to death. She has done zero acknowledgement to the baby. I give her grain, molasses water, alfalfa. She has let the baby eat. She just acts like she don't even know that the baby is eating, right, pretty girl? So we had the baby, let's see, 40 minutes ago. And like I said, the baby has eaten lots because I just keep showing her where it is. Hope is a very, very sweet girl. She never moved, but she didn't act like the baby was there either. And as you can see, she's scared to freaking death. So we're gonna see how long it takes us to get Hope to act like she has a baby. Surprise. Hope also had this beautiful one pound, very limp, very cold little guy that we are going to save Updating his life. little guy. We are still hanging in there. I took his temperature. He's 91. He needs to be a minimum of 100 to eat. So we're trying to get him warm. I am still got my little heater. I got my rice bags. I'm tucking them in. He has started to lift up his head. He was born this cold. Um, I've heard people say they're not born cold. Well, I can tell you we have a hundred babies or so a year and they are born cold sometimes, sometimes not. But when this guy was born, he was complete limp like dead, but I could tell he was breathing. Um, and I thought, well, if he wants to fight, I'm willing to fight with him. So right now we're just trying to get that temperature up. I have put a little colostrum on his tongue and he did swallow it but that's all we've done. So we're just praying and warming this little guy up. Hope has laid down. I have put little baby girl in front of her face. And as you can see, Hope is staring at me like, why did you do that? She still has not licked this baby. She hasn't touched this baby. She hasn't acknowledged that she has a baby, except for pushing it out, which she did an amazing job. But she does let her eat when I put her back there. So that's it. That's something. You know, when you're dealing with first timers, you take all you can get. But we will make this work. Stay tuned. Baby girl is trying to tell mama to get up. And mama is not getting up. Are you, Hope? No. You still got the scared to death look. I'm sure she's feeling cramps right now. She hasn't delivered her afterbirth yet. So I'm sure that's why she laid down. But baby girl's ready to eat again and she's not getting up. Oh, she is looking. So she's starting to pay a little bit of attention. Like, where did she go? This right here, oh, looky here. This right here will determine if we end up bringing the baby to the house tonight for me to feed or if she gets to stay up with mama. Like I said, mama's feeding her. She's just not doing any extra. So I'm gonna go put baby back under there for my, for her to eat. Okay, I put her under there. She's looking. Mama Hope is just standing there. We'll see how it goes. See if baby girl can find it on her own. Oh, she's almost there. And I think she's drinking. So close, ain't we, baby? And Hope's trying to deliver her afterbirth, and she's not moving. Baby girl is drinking. So we have high hopes here, very high hopes. Baby girl's not drinking now. She's just going to sit under mom. Oh, she's got tea on her nose, so she's like, oh, I better eat that. You better get that, baby. You see that? <laughs> oh, babies. Oh, she got the other side. She's going to eat there. And like I said, mama just... Let's her eat. So she's just scared to death right now. It's been an hour since she had her baby. And we're just gonna keep keep watching. Right, baby Hope? Yeah, you're my baby, ain't ya? Yes, you are. You're my girl. You're doing a good job, mama. Even though you're trying to deliver your afterbirth, you're letting her eat up. Good mama. Okay, here we are with our update. It has been an hour and a half. She is talking back to the baby. I'm sure you can't hear it. Baby is giving mama kisses and telling her she's ready to eat again. And she does look at her a little bit, but she's talking to her. 
Can you hear her? I know we're in the barn and it's noisy. Good job, Mama. Good job. You get your baby. Oh, there she goes, clear over there. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Okay, that's an improvement. I've been just leaving her in here because like I said, the little girl has eaten plenty. So I know she's fine. And I'm just kind of sitting back and watching so I can see what mama's doing. Do you see what I see? Try not to talk too loud. Try not to scare her. But look, she's starting to look at her baby. We're going on two hours now. That's it. Let's stop pushing. Good job, mama. But she's starting to smell her a little bit. Good job, mama. And she's starting to calm down. The thing to remember, when you have a first time mom, most of the time they're just very, very scared. They are not rejecting their baby. That is not every case, of course. But if you just have patience with them, keep working with them, 99% of the time, they're gonna be just fine. Look at her, she's gonna be fine. She's gonna be a great mom. And once they start doing that right there, within an hour, you won't even recognize this girl in her baby. Sorry for the background noise, it is raining and we are in our metal barn. And I wanted to give you update, but she moved, so. It's been three hours now, and Hope is smelling her baby, which is a big improvement. It might not seem like a lot, but it is. Baby's pretty much in milk coma because she drank a lot. Hey, Mama. Mama's past her after birth. She's doing great, and she's starting to calm down and check out her beautiful baby. We'll be back. Stay tuned. till the time she laid down and started pushing. She had no idea she was having a baby. And like I said, three and a half hours later, we now have success. Right, Hope? You're gonna be a great mama. Yes, I'm very proud of you, baby. You're gonna do a great job, just like your mama did. Oh, that's your baby. Usually when I come over here and talk to her, she stops. So this is also a big improvement that she is willing to do this while I'm standing here. So we have another success. I would say 99.9 .9 times out of 100, we have success. Actually, I don't remember never not, but I don't want to say 100% because then something will happen. But only because we're very patient with them. They're very scared. She don't know what's going on, but she's getting it. She's acting kind of goofy. She's very tired, but she knows she's got this little girl that she needs to take care of. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps somebody else that has a new mama, first timer, that don't know what to do. Just give love and patience. 
and hopefully you have success just like this. Okay, everybody, here's your update on our little Mr. Hope. We weighed him. He weighs one pound and one ounce. Definitely the smallest baby we've ever had at our farm. We're in the house. He um, has eaten a quarter ounce of colostrum. He's standing for a minute, not long, but hey, he's not doing too bad. He's holding his own temp. He's getting kind of sleepy now. He's been up for, you know, a couple minutes. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you an update. He's doing pretty well. And this here, my friends, is what we do, what we do at CLM Premium Goats and Goat Products. Hope and I both had a rough night, but she's taking care of that little girl, and I'm taking care of that little boy. If you like what you see, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.